Hi everybody, Mike Brown here with you again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about HDR. What is it? How do you shoot it? And how do you process it? First off, let me give you just an example of HDR. Here's a photograph taken uh, up in West Hollywood, just a kind of an interesting urban landscape, if you will. And this right here, let's pull up the layers panel. This is the actual raw file untouched of this picture. It looks kind of nice, a little bit interesting, needs a little retouch and so on. Here is the fixed up Photoshop version from there to there. Notice how the sky has gotten a little more blue. We've popped the contrast. We've color corrected uh, the white balance. And if you notice in the driveway, I've retouched out some of the various and sundry junk oil spots. And we took out power poles and just basic retouch. It looks a lot better. It's an interesting shot, but still doesn't have that pop. By using HDR algorithms and running this image through HDR, this is what we get. Look at the differential. Look at the sky. I'm going to go back. This is the Photoshop version. And there it is with HDR. Look at that. It just snaps. Look down over here in the corner here at the gray clouds. I want to show you those. Notice how flat they look and all the sky up here. But when we process it through HDR, look at the dynamic dimension that we got in all of the sky. What HDR really does, it's high dynamic range. It enables you to pull all of the highlights and all of the shadows, detail that you normally can't get in processing. For example, right here in Photoshop, this is the best I can do in Photoshop, but by running it through HDR, it will accentuate and bring out all of that detail and enables you to add a lot of drama to the shot. Watch the car. The car is kind of flat surface, which looks cool. But when we snap it, look at the foliage. Look, look right here at the, uh, the overhang and uh, the shelter in the shell station. Watch that when I pop it to HDR. Look at the dramatic change. You can see reflections in the shadow area. All sorts of detail that you can't get any other way. So that shows you what we can do with HDR.